Okay, it's time to wake up. Whew, baby, it's cold outside. 32 degrees. Can you believe it? Bundle up. Well, let's just cancel the show. Me and you go home. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Let me do it like this before I have my eye surgery. <laughs> this is Athens in the AM. Jaw Jacker Jeff Matthews in here this morning. Special guest. My favorite clown of all time. Well, he couldn't be here. He's so my Mike, favorite. Hey, well, you got Good a see guest you. too. You bet, Matt McGee, our rodeo announcer at the finals, and uh, yeah, we're excited about being back. It's like being home. Hey, and you're inside. You bet. It don't matter the rain, snow. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You'll be in the go. Hey, rodeo this weekend. We'll be talking about it Friday and Saturday night at the, the finals too. Well, now after this, do you get a vacation? No. We had a vacation that was a week and a half of Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how's that little one? He's great. He's getting big. Uh, he uh, keeps me going. What did you say about the makeup, Jeff? Uh, well, a friend of mine wears that same makeup on the weekends when he goes out. Uh, <laughs> I wear that at night, man. I yeah. wear that at night. You know, I wear this makeup on the weekends, too, but I get paid a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I while we paid. cook in the Lewis and Sunday, hey, if y'all had some high wind damage on your shingles, y'all need to give Jeffrey a call. Well, you say so you're in Athens today. Yeah, I'm in Athens today. Actually, I had shingles yesterday everywhere. Did you get rid of uh, So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got rid of all right. Uh, it was pretty bad yesterday with all the different winds oh, and yeah. things like that. I would have never known until I watched the show yesterday morning and you opened the door and you, it was a bad hair day. Kind of messed my hair up a little bit. <laughs> that it did. I would wear a hat, but you know. You still ain't fixed it. <laughs> no, not yet. What are you cooking today? Because these guys look like they're hungry. I'm making some rodeo chili today. Ooh. Today we're just going to call it rodeo chili. Every, <laughs> it's just regular old chili. It's cold outside, you know. It's going to be colder tomorrow. Let's warm us up and get us going this morning. How's your mom? Mama's good. She recommended me not make chili this early in the morning, so we'll, well eat. It kind of we'll, stays with you the rest of the day. Well, you know, you know yeah, it's like a, you know. Like a bad friend who hangs around. Oh, well, we got a lot of stuff going on. Today. We're going to talk about the rodeo starts tomorrow night, Friday. The finals over there. Lone Star, the whole deal going on. We don't get to see you much except during uh, Sheriff Blakely's big deal. The important times of the year. Yeah, important times of the year. <laughs> All right, and we'll hear from the announcer. Maybe get him to do some free uh, audio for us while he's in here this morning. Cut a few spots for us. He can do it. Yeah, you know it. All right, Mike, y'all make yourself at home. Garrett, grab you some coffee over there. Frank is on the phone, 230-4988. You need to get cranking probably on some chili here in just a little bit. We'll check on that. <laughs> and uh, <Eye> on you. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on y'all. All right, shut up's in the house this morning for all you people who just love hearing hey, what he's Hold on, hold on. I, I got some deer antler yeah. spray here. I'm finna spray it on me. <laughs> See if I grow and get bigger. I wish we could sp uh, spray some deer urine on you this morning. That'd be <laughs> I got some of that too. We'll talk about the controversy going on with the Alabama football team too in just a little bit. Cheater. There ain't nothing to it. It's totally squat. But let's get it cranking this morning. Here's Gloria with the weather. And it is a little bit chilly, but it ain't near as windy as it was yesterday. No, it's it's not, and I think it improved his hair just a little bit yesterday, actually, Jeff. But 32 degrees out there this morning right now. It is freezing, freezing, freezing. Bundle up on your way outside today. But you know what? They are saying the S word. Possible snow flurries All right. tonight. High temperatures today at 48. Low, check it out, 27. That's when they're saying late this evening or later on into the nighttime hours that, that we cold. could see some flurries. It is cold. 37 for your high tomorrow, 25 for your low, so it'll be cold all day tomorrow as well. But the sun will be out, so at least that hopefully will make things a little bit better. And the rest of the forecast looking like Saturday. Look at there, we could see some rain. I'm just ready for sunshine constantly. Sunday may be the day with high temperatures of 56. And of course, there is an article that yeah, I'm not aware of. Volatile weather, Tom. It says it's you know yesterday a little bit. It said maybe in the next coming weeks it could be warm weather again like that with some more storms because of what's all in the atmosphere. But we'll keep you posted on that. Paul, we that? have an anniversary to do. Pop that up for me, Brad. A shout happy, out. Happy anniversary. Frank Scrimshire had a shout out this oh. morning. 43rd anniversary to Glenn and Linda Smith. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mac, what's happening with you? Hey, yeah, bud. How you doing? Look at I that. didn't recognize you, man. You got a beard going on. You got a on big old there. beard man, going. It's the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Hey, hey speaking of that, well, you going up to Zeke's tonight for steak night? No, I go to Zeke's tonight and Nashville Saturday. I might just head to Tennessee. Oh, Where's Nikki well, Satan going? We're trying to get up to Zeke's today for lunch. Tom, what's happening with you? Oh, just handling a few claims from yesterday. A few claims. <laughs> there you were. Yeah. Jeff you, needs you. But you're on their side, right? That's right. <laughs> hey, good news in the housing deal. It says here in USA Today this morning, the supply of homes for sale has been shrinking, Tom, for six months and shows no improvement. A bad sign for buyers. Because hmm. there's none. That's good news. Houses? Good news but for sellers. sellers. Listings of existing homes for sale were down 14% year-over-year, year, first two weeks of January, according to Realtor.com. 
which tracks 146 markets. So there you go. Shut up. What's shaking with you? Say you go to the men's conference down at Lindsey Lane? Go to the men's conference on Saturday at 5 and Did you talk get Jamie my religion on. Huh? Did you talk Jamie into going with you? I'm trying, but, you know. All right. Hey, it's like the we, exorcist oh, over here. Before we get started, let me go to the big Does news. Does his head spin around? Let me go to the big news. I know we just did a shout out for marriage. Mm -hmm. You're pregnant. Well, close. <laughs> okay, One of the all time that. legends from Alabama got married yeah. over the weekend. 80 something years old. Jim Goober Gomer neighbor. There's hope for me. No, he married. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. No, Jim no I ain't going with that way. Married his long, hold it. Married his longtime partner. Doesn't change anything about their relationship. He just wanted to formally acknowledge it. The 82 year old actor from Sylacauga, Alabama, best known for Gomer Pyle, who liked Goober and the Andy Griffith Show, told the Associated oh, Press Jamie. that he married his 64. No pun intended on that. He married 64 year old Stan Codwaller. <laughs> she was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm right like, there. I bet you didn't know that, did you, Mike? <laughs> well, right, let me let me take back. I, I don't want to be like Jim Neighbors, man. <laughs> I'm not him and man, man Tay 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 out now. Come on. Now he hit. Now on that I want to wait. Out today on Doctor Phil, Come the uh, the guy who did the hoax was in love with Monte. That's sick. Was in love with Monte. That, that was his, wasn't that his friend or something? Yeah, you know him. But he, he married. Jeff, I mean, he wants to marry me that way, Gomer. Huh? Goober, hey, Gomer. Spray on. Yeah, hey, Gomer like Goober, okay? James I was Scott. in a local store this past weekend. <laughs> yeah. And they had in the back of the store. Yeah, that don't go there. Gay yeah. accent spray. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Gay no. accent. I'm just oh, not sure spray. what it smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's what it was called. Maybe he had Goober had it sprayed on him or sprayed on. But anyway, sure. well, what's in that chili over there? But only one. But Goober got married. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Zach. What are you? What you got shaking, Zach? Well, let me first start get my mom. She had some uh, stuff done yesterday, uh, Tuesday. Still got to go back two weeks. Still not doing good. But uh, hopefully this will help her out and pray she gets better. And it's a couple of folks lost their loved ones. The Fielder family and the oh, yeah. Eaton family lost lost loved ones the last couple of days. So praying for them. My buddy Ronnie White I went to school with. His wife's not doing good. So keep that family in prayers too. So mm -hmm. y'all know they got that show Sick Call. Is it still on? Yeah, I well, Zach's about, to put, Zach's about yeah. to put them out of business, Frank. Remember, remember, if you got somebody that's in the hospital, the road or did, home that, or whatever, did that for years. They can't get he by. He can be our medical expert. Y'all let us know, and Zach will give them a shout out on this program. It'll be called the Zach Sick Call. Yeah, I need to get a sponsor for that. Is one. Is that still on the Sick Call? <laughs> yeah, on WKC. I think I've never I've never seen seen never seen that. Zach, let's just forget everything I've and let's get down it. to the I've deer antler. Buck Wild, but never seen that. Let's get down to the deer antler story. What do you know about showing up? I just know that. You know, they say it's a banned substance, but a lot of kids, I mean, a lot of the people are using it in the pro. But it's what? real deer antler stuff. It's natural stuff off a of deer antler. <laughs> well, well, so is marijuana natural, too, but that don't mean you can go do it. <laughs> they, uh, they I had... Mean, <laughs> It's they had this. Line. Oh, heck. <laughs> they had this guy on yesterday, Mitch Ross, on with Jay Barker and Aldo Greco, and he is a. He sorry, sorry, Mike. He's a clown. He, he, what he's, was he saying? Don't insult Mike. <laughs> you ought to be offended for this guy because what was he he's he was saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with this, nothing wrong. With, and Jay Barker said, well, if it's illegal, why the NFL keeping you out of it? Well, it's natural stuff. Said if you ban it, you got to ban steak and milk. He said it's got the same <laughs> stuff in it that's in but, steak and milk. Like no, I've been reading all these comments on uh, Facebook. Not one Alabama player is accused of actually taking any. Correct. What is No, this? no, yes, there is. Yesterday, yes, this yes, key no. guy, his co-worker or whatever, saying he saw, he's claiming that he saw five players he did, take it. He rubbed it, it all over themselves. Spray the, <laughs> it's apparently you spray it inside your mouth. What does it do to you? Does it give it's you a place to, I don't know what it does. It, 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 it helps you run. It helps you run. Your neck gets bigger and your chest gets bigger. And mm. they, they, I don't know. But <laughs> where can I, I, just, where can I get gross. some deer antler stuff? Call Clay. Just call. Just call that guy. Oh, Clay, Clay but, probably got a whole stash uh, of it. In there. Is there anything to it? Is it going to cost Alabama to lose I don't, one of our I don't, national championships? I don't well, think I, you it know is. what? If it does, uh, that's okay. But, but this guy line, needs though. to stay away. And he kept saying, "Well, if people want to come back from me, I give it to him." Jay Barker said, "Well, you're just." 
you're encouraging people to, you know. But like have a, a now they bunch of schools in Auburn to the involved too. Yeah. Oh, to Auburn, LSU, LSU Auburn, LSU. Wait a minute, no, 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 he approached them. No, but. no, LSU supposed LSU had some the first time they beat Alabama in 2011. Oh gosh, he said here he we go now. Oh, somebody. No. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now listen, I'm trying to tell the truth. It's LSU, Alabama, Auburn. There's been a lot of schools they're trying to. All right. Speaking so, of coaches, right. Tom, let me go to this out of the Cater Daily this morning from Rogersville, which is right across the river over here. Have you heard about this? Uh -uh. It's that way. <laughs> out of Decatur Daily this morning, school district officials are investigating allegations that a Lauderdale County high school teacher made gay and racial slurs in front of students, including personal shots directed at First Lady Michelle Obama. The investigation concerns the school's head football coach, Ooh. who also teaches driver's education. Evidence in the investigation includes a one-minute, 24-second audio recording of him says, who knows who's behind this 600-calorie school lunch? Quote, the coach, fat butt Michelle Obama. Look at her. She looks like she weighs 185 or 190. She's overweight. Then it goes on to say they call her a fat gorilla. <gasps> Later God. in the tape, oh, coach man. refers to the U.S. as going in the wrong direction, tells students they cannot get pissed off at me or not. You can tell the principal, call the superintendent, and tell her I don't believe in queers. Oh. I don't like queers, I don't hate them as a person, but what they do is wrong and is an abomination against God. Amen. Can I give it? That I get is it? the coach, what's the school over Is it Rogers? Lauderdale County High School. Lauderdale County High School. Lauderdale County High School. <laughs> Lauderdale County High School. <laughs> is he still got his yeah. job right now? I'm sure. I mean, the Grisham family is legendary in Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Her dad, yeah. Daddy was a football coach yeah. over there. And, but anyway, mm. this is Indicator Daily this morning. Well. Watch what you say. Somebody's recording. Hey, I'm going to tell Coach Lee and Coach Key. They better, be, oh, right. they better be watching. Freedom of speech, what? baby. Freedom of speech. This is the country. Ooh. Now, I don't know when you're wow. talking to high school students, students and you don't, you don't do call them the first lady stuff like that either. I mean, I will take oh, yeah, up on that. Yeah, you can't do that. But, heck, what did Obama say? I'm going to destroy the GOP. But but the I, I, I just, of the GOP. Why can he I'm say just that? Saying, now, fortunately, a lot of folks do agree with him like that. So I mean, but at the same time, and Rogers, wow. well, they agree about a lot of things. You know, your players shouldn't be sitting there recording stuff that supposedly. Don't you know how easy that is? I, I don't know if he was talking. Now, I don't know if it was in front of the players or in front of a driver's ed class or what. I mean, it doesn't. With the say devices it's in today, the you should never do anything. You're going but anyway, to get he's going to probably get a little reprimand. What do you think, Tom? A little, yeah. Or you know, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think what else you got, Zach? Uh, well, of course, a little game called the Super Bowl. Yes. <laughs> Sunday, I'm sure everybody be having their little parties and stuff. Uh, starts at 530, uh, the Harbo. Yeah, we've heard all kind of names, but I think it's going to be a good ball game. I think it's going to be a close ball game. I, I think these two, these two teams are real Ravens. close, and I think it'll be close, but I'm pulling for the Ravens. I just want to see some real coaching. You know, two Jim, brothers. Jim Harbaugh came from college and did What it. number is this? I can't read the new Roman numeral. I'm not as smart as 42. Mike Whitworth. <laughs> 42. Well, no, what, no, what, no, what, what, no, no, it's not 42. It's 47. 47. Oh. It's the year I was born. It started the year I was born, 1966. Okay, we're all, the first I was Super Bowl. So it is 47. I, I can't read the Roman numeral. Yeah. So it's 47. Yeah, I, I hate them. I can't Roman. read those numbers either. <laughs> I don't like them. Oh, 47. It's 47. Yeah. Right. So he's telling us all wrong. It started in 1966. What else you got, Zach? Okay, well, we know Ray Lewis was involved. That's how all this stuff got yeah, started his, uh, on the antler swap, and he's denying it, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, there's there's a controversy break. about Ray Lewis being the man of God and all this stuff. Let's don't forget that double murder down in Atlanta in 2000. Yeah. He got away with that, he, he? he? was kind of involved in all Well, he went to jail. He did. He did. He got yeah, nobody, ever, never, nobody ever went to jail for that, though. Yeah, he, the, those yeah. other guys. He went for a while, but I'm saying there's nobody yeah. in jail right now or, no. or, or spent a lot of time in jail. <laughs> yeah, the, um, if the glove don't fit, you, can't, you have to. What else you got, Zach? We got, we got recruiting, you know, it's going on. Um, yeah. It'll happen next Wednesday. Alabama got a four-star, uh, Eddie Jackson, a, a DB. But uh, Jonathan Ford, running back from New Hope, he's been committed to Vandy for a long time. They committed. Looks like he's going to go to Auburn. Auburn. And... Uh, Auburn lost a running back yesterday, Mike Blakely. He's leaving Auburn. He had went to Florida, stayed there just for a little while, and left, Blakely. transferred, and now he's leaving Auburn. So Where are we going to finish in recruiting, Zach? I mean, we'll be in top two or three. I mean, you can finish. We're going to get Von three. Bell and that. Uh, I don't think they said Von Bell's probably going to go to. Uh, 
Tennessee, uh, that Tunzel kid. It's between Alabama, Georgia, and that Ten Penny kid is not going to Arkansas, is he? It's a possibility. Who? Ten Penny that runs. Allison Ten oh, Penny. Yeah. But uh, so I mean, we're still going to end up top two or three. If you you're not going to be number one. I mean, let me ask you, in the top ten, you're good. Is there even need of playing football next year? Should they just not go ahead they and get, award they Alabama? Get, well, well, get, you got well. What they should do is go ahead and give them more deer antler spray, so you can say, well, it might as well be y'all. Uh -huh. so. yeah, so. uh, yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> we got that picture of Fluker. Yeah. Oh, hey, God, Mike Wentworth, don't you look at this picture. DJ Fluker, one of, that's him in the Not middle. That that's me one. on the left. That's Gloria. Hey, that's Gloria on the right side there. Mike, in case you can't see, huh? We saw him on the beach. She had deer antler spray, too. I knew that was y'all. I seen Gloria <laughs> Which one? I, I couldn't see. I, I my good eye. I'm trying to look at it. I thought you were going to show that other Fluker picture. One the, the one of him in his underwear. That was a flu. We already took that. Let me take him. I, let me. I've been working so hard the first 15 minutes. Let me take my first break of the morning. We'll come back and wow. just a moment. Hear more from Zach. You're watching there. Cooper Coming Live on a Thursday morning mm. edition. We're going to talk about the rodeo going on this weekend, too, over at the Civic Center. The finals. Got our favorite clown of the world in here, Mike Wentworth, this morning. Going to tell us all about that. And we'll come right back in just a moment. I got some other stuff to talk about. Y'all hang on.